Hey, what's going on? It's Justin Dickmeyer from engineerandtrainingexam.com. And in this video, we will review first order linear differential equations. Now, a first order linear differential equation has the following form dy dx plus pxy is equal to qx. Now the general solution to this first order linear differential equation is, so the general solution is yx is equal to the integral of ux qx dx plus c divided by ux, where ux is known as the integrating factor ux is the integrating factor and it's equal to e to the integral of px dx. So if we are given an initial uh, condition uh, for a first order linear differential equation then we can determine the constant of integration and get the particular solution of the equation. So this is the general solution with the constant of integration not defined, but to get the particular solution we can use an initial value and determine that solution. So first order linear equations can be solved in one of two ways, and I will cover both in this uh, review just in case you are more familiar with one or the other, or more comfortable with one over the other. I'll just go over both. So the first process is a five-step five step solution. Say we are given step number one, that we're given an equation in the form ax dy dx plus bxy is equal to cx. Now, right off the bat, we can tell that this is almost a first order linear differential equation, but it is not. So we need to rearrange it to determine uh, or to get it into the uh, more general form that we're used to. So to do that, we need to get rid of a ax and we need to get rid of uh, bx. And uh, to do that, uh, we'll just rewrite it as dy dx plus px y is equal to qx where px is equal to bx divided by ax and qx is equal to cx divided by ax so for the most part we're not going to probably run into many instances where we need to rearrange an equation to put it in the first order linear differential form but if we need to just know that it's definitely possible so the second step is that uh, we need to keep in mind the general form we are working towards so the general form um, or the general solution is y yx is equal to the integral of ux qx dx plus c divided by ux. So since we know we're working towards that form, we know that we need to define an integrating factor ux. So to do that, once again, ux is equal to e integral of px dx. So define in step number two the integrating factor. Step number three is then we need to evaluate the integral right here. We need to divide the integral ux, qx, dx. So once, uh, once we uh, determine that, we go on to step number four, which is now that we have a solution for this integral and we have the integrating factor, we have all the information we need to plug into our general form. So just plug in all the information into our general form yx. That's step number four. And then finally step number five, if we have an initial condition, then we can go ahead and use that point 
uh, to determine the constant of integration to f determine what the particular particular solution is. So determine the particular solution with the initial value. So let's run through an example of using this uh, specific process. Let's say that uh, we're given the first order differential equation of uh, y prime plus tangent of x y is equal to cosine squared x with an initial value y zero is equal to two. So no, step number one is getting into the right form. Uh, fortunately, we have it already in the first order linear differential equation form that we would like. So go ahead and skip step number one. We're good. Step number two is that we need to define the integrating factors ux. So ux is equal to e to the integral px dx, which is equal to e to the integral. This is px right here, tangent of x tangent of x dx which is equal to e to the natural log of cosine x which is equal to e to the natural log of secant x we uh, cancel out e in the natural log so that this uh, integrating factor is going to be secant of x so now that we have the integrating factor, let's go ahead and uh, solve the integral ux qx dx. And we know qx in our original equation is cosine squared x. So we got ux is equal to secant x times cosine squared x dx. Now we know secant of x is 1 over cosine of x, so we have the integral of cosine x dx, which is equal to sine of x. So we're doing pretty good here. Let's step to number 4, and now we can get our general form. yx is equal to sine x plus c divided by secant x which is also equal to sine x plus c cosine of x. So once again we have a constant of integration here but we also have an initial value so let's go ahead and plug that in to determine our particular solution and so we got y naught or y zero sorry is equal to two and plugging in 0, we got sine 0 plus c times cosine of 0. So this 0, cosine of 0 is 1, so we got 2 is equal to c. So our constant of integration is c, which means that our particular solution now is yx is equal to sine x plus 2 cosine x. And there you go. That's how we uh, solve a first order linear differential equation using our first process. Now solving this way may not always be as it appears. So because of this, we will now run through another way to solve using the integrating factor as the main driver of the solution. Now this is a, this is a process maybe you're more familiar seeing. Um, I know and when I was in uh, my classes, this is the one we used the most. So this process is also a five-step process. And once again, you can use whichever one uh, works best for you. But uh, this one I particularly like the best. So the first step is to put the differential equation in the correct f initial form. So just like step number one in the previous problem, put the equation in the form dy, and we'll use a little bit different notation just to set this uh, one apart, dy dt plus pty is equal to gt. So we used x before, but this we'll just use t just to differentiate between the two. 
Uh, now second, the second step is to find the integrating factor, same process as before, so we'll just use um, this symbol, use t is equal to e to the p t dt, same as before. Now step number three, this is where it gets a little different. We need to multiply everything in the differential equation by the integrating factor and verify that the left side becomes the product rule ut yt prime and write it as such. So integrate or multiply both sides, multiply everything by the integrating factor. This is the integrating factor. Now step number four, we need to integrate both sides. So integrate both sides. And finally step number five, solve for yt. So let's look at an example of how we would use this process. Let's say that we want to find the solution of the differential equation dv dt. And once again, this dt, this could be any variable. It could be uh, dy, dx, dv, dt, whatever. Um, just as uh, long as it's a two variables and it's consistent. The equal 9.8 minus 0.196v. So the first thing we need to do is uh, get the differential into the correct form. So the uh, step number one would be dv dt, just rearranging, plus 0.196v is equal to 9.8. So we got it in the form that we want. From this we can see that pt is equal to 0.196. So PT is equal to 0.196. So step number two, the integrating factor, is then going to be E to the PT DT, which is equal E to the integrating of 0.196 DT, which is equal to E to the 0.196 T. So our integrating factor is E to the point 0.196 t. Now step number three is we need to multiply all the terms in the differential equation by the integrating factor and simplify. So uh, to do that we just uh, multiply everything. We get e to the point 0.196 t times dv dt plus 0.196e to the 0.196t v, which is equal to 9.8e to the 0.196t. So all we did was multiply all the terms by the integrating factor. And now we got to confirm that this, uh, the left side, is uh, going to be in the format of in, uh, the format of the product rule, which is the integrating factor used t y t t, and it can be. All we need to do is simplify to show you that it can, in fact, be put into the product rule, and that uh, would equal e to the point one nine six t v so we got the integrating factor and we got a y of t right there so now all we need to do is integrate both sides so let's go ahead and start a new page here so we're on step number four we need to integrate both sides so we got integral of e to the point one nine six t v 
is equal to, oh, dt is equal to 9.8e to the point 196t dt. So integrating both sides, we get e to the point 196tv is equal to plus k, don't forget the integrating factor, is equal to 50 e to the point 196t plus c. So now it's time to play around with these constants again. We can subtract k from each side, which would give us plus k plus c minus k. Both c and k are unknown constants at this time, so the difference is also known is an unknown constant. So we can actually combine these two into one constant, say c. So we get e to the point 196t v is equal to 50 e to the point 196t plus c. So the final step is to the final step in the solution process is to multiply both sides by uh, e to the point negative e to the point 196t to get v by itself. So we have uh, uh, we have our proper equation that we're looking for. So multiplying both sides by e to the negative point 196t eliminates it on the left side and then also adjusts it on the right side. So we get vt is equal to 50 plus c e to the negative point 196t. So this is our solution for that first order linear differential equation. Now using this second process of using the uh, integrating factor as our driving force to the solution. Now if we had an initial condition we can obviously plug that in at this point to determine what our constant of integration c is uh, but in this case we didn't have one so we will stop right there. So that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, just a little review on first order linear differential equations. If you guys have any questions, hop on over to engineeringtrainingexam.com and shoot me an email. Uh, send me some suggestions, some feedback. I'd love to hear from you guys, see how you're doing in your preparations. Uh, if you guys want to check out more videos, I got plenty there for you as well. Uh, watch them over and over and over again. Ingrain this stuff into your mind, especially this math, because it's so important. So. Until next time, we'll be talking soon. You take care. All right. Bye.